The U.S. Army Field Band rehearsing this week for an upcoming tour of Norway. The concert band, jazz ambassadors, and four additional vocalists are performing at the Norwegian Tattoo later this month. The Tattoo is billed as the largest indoor event in Norway and features military bands from 12 nations. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, a special romp and stomp. Command Sergeant Major Aaron Stone, a victim of sexual assault, speaks next week. And a reminder, Earth Day is coming up. These stories and more, but first, not only is April Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month, it's also Child Abuse Prevention Month. Thursday, April 19th, Army Community Service and the Kimbrough Family Advocacy Program present What Parents Need to Know. The presentation focuses on protecting your children while they're on the internet. It's free of charge and open to all DOD ID card holders. It's coming up April 19th from 1 to 3 at the McGill Training Center. In a related story, the Family Advocacy Program's weekly Romp and Stomp is a weekly playgroup for children five and under and their parents. In conjunction with Child Abuse Prevention Month, Family Advocacy turns the weekly Romp and Stomp into a resource fair. We just really want to provide an opportunity for them to come out, socialize, get their children some activities, and also provide a resource fair for them. Hughes adds that the contributions from outside agencies are extremely important. It's to highlight different resources that are around our community and within our military organizations. So today we have Anne, uh, John Hopkins, we have um, the Enlisted Spouse Support, we have Marilyn Wick. These programs are vital to our community. If you need more information about the Family Advocacy Program or Romp and Stump, stop by their offices on 85th Medical Battalion Avenue. One more reminder for our kids and parents, the Spring Youth Fishing Rodeo canceled earlier this month is rescheduled for April 28th. Registration starts at 8 o'clock at Bourbon Lake Cottage and the competition ends at 1. For details, just go to www.me.armymwr.com. <laughs> Scenes from last week's strikeout sexual assault bowling event sponsored by the 704th Military Intelligence Brigade. Strikeout sexual assault continues Fort Meade's observance of Sexual Assault Awareness and Prevention Month. On Tuesday, April 24th, McGill Training Center is hosting the annual Sharp Expo. The keynote speaker is 187th Medical Battalion Command Sergeant Major Aaron Stone. Stone, a victim of sexual assault, has spoken openly about his experience. Here's a brief clip from an episode of TED Talks. A warning, the subject matter may make some viewers uncomfortable. When I was 15, a male middle school teacher, Mr. Richard Pate, raped me. I knew him for a year before he attacked me. We met when I was a waiter at a restaurant. Looking back on that year, I used to find it odd that his likes and dislikes began to closely parallel mine until I realized, years later, that he was slowly grooming me to earn his trust. Of course, I was in shock at the violent act that just took place. I stayed within my shell and refused to mention this to anyone because that is what our culture taught me to do. When one hears a sexual assault, they assume the victim is a female. Most Americans still believe that rape is a crime specifically against a woman. Our testosterone-driven society cannot fathom that a man can be a victim of rape. Discussing sexual assaults and molestation makes people feel uncomfortable. It should. It is a violent, unspeakable act that causes people, females and males alike, undue physical and mental trauma. Every 100 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted. Once again, the Sharp Expo and Command Sergeant Major Stone's presentation is coming up April 24th from 10 to 2 at the McGill Training Center. Meanwhile, a quick reminder, Fort Meade's Earth Day observance is Thursday, April 19th from 10 to 1 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. Live animal displays, prizes and giveaways, and this year, several food choices. You won't want to miss it. In a related story, Fort Meade's environmental section is holding another electronics and data destruction event on Wednesday, April 25th from 11 to 1 in the commissary parking lot. Most electronics are accepted free of charge, but there is a charge to dispose of some items, including TV and computer CRT monitors, backup batteries, and hard drives. Details in the next issue of our award-winning newspaper, The Sound Off. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.